A camper enclosure on a pontoon boat is not a novel concept, and Sylvan's offered it as an option on theirs for years, but they've never designed an entire layout completely with the camper in mind, until now. This is the 2021 Sylvan 8524 Mirage Resorter. These days, more and more pontoon boaters, especially in the northern US and Canada, are looking for a platform that'll do more. We've even seen a few that'll spend an entire summer camping on their pontoon boats, like a lot of people would with an express cruiser. And that's exactly where the idea for this Mirage Resorter was born. It's a platform that can fish, cruise, and can even support days or even weeks on board. The Mirage Resorter is 24 feet, 10 inches long with a 102 inch beam and a dry weight of 2,425 pounds. Rated for up to 150 horsepower, unless you opt for the mini third log like our test model to get that power limit up to 300. Standard equipment on the Mirage Resorter is a full canvas camper enclosure that seals almost the entire boat off from the elements. Plus a pair of swivel fishing seats that allow casting from the foredeck and a stainless steel grill at the stern, perfect for frying up your catch. Also standard is a starboard side galley complete with a pump sink with just enough room behind for a full size cooler. Also standard is this four person dinette area, which is great for eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, but when needed, the table pops out, the aft seat folds all the way forward, and you've got a nice big berth. Both seat backs can lean forward or aft to give you a wide range of different seating configurations, and it integrates well with the smaller lounger at midship with storage inside the seat cushion and a privacy enclosure on the forward side. Plus a convenient USB outlet above a pair of open storage shelves is accessible in any configuration. Up front we find the classic pontoon layout with two big comfy loungers on roto cast bases with big storage compartments that run the length of each seat. The sunken lip keeps water from dripping in and drains in the floor will take care of any that does, ensuring everything inside stays fresh and dry. Our platform was covered in a stylish non-slip sea weave from the bow right back to the stern where we find an extended swim platform with a four-step reboarding ladder and an optional tow bar. The helm on this Mirage Resorter is super simple. Typical gauge cluster right up front. Jensen stereo controls with AM, FM radio and Bluetooth for those speakers that we see molded into the seat bases. We've got plenty of room to mount electronics over here, which you might want if you're going camping in a place where you've never been. Plus rockered switches and USB power on the left. The console also features a windscreen and a battery compartment accessed by the door on the side. One option that would be a must have for campers is a second battery so you can run your accessories and there's a great spot to put a second battery just opposite the first one in this aft bench. Anyone out long term on any boat is also going to need tons of storage and there's plenty aboard. However, a lot of that space is quickly eaten up when the camper enclosure comes down and stows away in the seat compartments. That means you're almost certainly going to need to bring some extra storage containers along for the ride. Speaking of riding, our test model was powered by a brand new 175 horsepower Mercury V6 four stroke. Alone on board with a full tank of gas, I hit a peppy top speed of 45 miles per hour, but cruised best in the mid 20s. One of the biggest things about camping on a pontoon boat is it is way more manageable than even a small express cruiser. It's nice and light, easy to drive, and you get that nice, floaty, comfortable pontoon ride, and you can go a little bit faster without having to worry about burning too much gas. And along with fuel savings, you get the season stretching capabilities and the easy routine maintenance that comes with outboard power, especially with the access hatch in the top of the cowling on these Mercury V6s. If I was gonna buy a boat like this to take out on a lot of camping trips, I would definitely opt for the third log package gets you a little more horsepower, bump that max horsepower rating up to 300, which means you can load this thing down with all kinds of gear, go out for as long as you want. So if you're looking to give up your big cruiser, but not quite ready to give up the cruising lifestyle, this Sylvan 8524 Mirage Resorter might be something you'll want to take a look at.